we was actually um talking about the Bank of America play. Man, uh, man. Too. powerful play for everybody. Man. Powerful play. So this is a Bank of America play. It's it requires it requires really a six eighty, but to be completely transparent, you want to have a seven twenty. Yeah. Seven twenty so, is going to be you don't have no question, yeah, no don't, if, answer, no, no but. Don't don't even go without a seven twenty because it's it's too strong of a benefit for you and your lifestyle and family for you to drop the bar, mess it up, and then have to try to double back and go through all that. And go Just through that loop. You get be, to that 720. You want to be real smooth, easy process. It shouldn't yep. be a headache and trying yep. to be stressful and all yep. those other things. But this is a play for your business. And people say, oh, man, I may have to have a two-year. No, this is for a two-year business, fresh business, this, whatever. Yeah, this can be a fresh business, business for this one. That you have and that you receive. But the key is having your personal align right. And that's what we always teach and not teach. I don't like to use that word, but we always give that and hand over that free game yeah. to go ahead and actually um it, to get to that 720. But you have to have a 720, right? And once you get that 720 on your personal, you a PG, you it's a PG play. You can't go around that. Um, you a PG your business for this auto loan pay, and it's through bank of america all right so bank of america is going to be housing your auto loan play now it's not just a regular play man not no just no oh give me one degular. car what no, no it's not no one. regular degular <laughs> it's not two it ain't three either but it's four you can get up to four you get up to four auto loans yo and y'all may be like what the heck Yes, and people may say, well, I, don't I don't need four. I don't need four auto loans. <laughs> I don't need four cars. I don't, I don't need four that. Four. What's wrong with y'all, boy? Y'all crazy. Wait. Exactly. Just wait. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. That's it. You know what I mean? And if you have the time, subscribe. You know what I mean? Man, just subscribe, share just, it. It's, you know it's, I mean? it's all it is. It's free. Be a blessing to somebody else. Yes. It is a play where you can, if you already own a vehicle personally, making payments on it. Pay attention. You can hide that without being on your personal damn deandre how you do that this is the key you have that bank of america play that all alone play with the 720 you would get not a minimum of fifty thousand dollars for a loan for this particular play and that's up to the other four loans that we mentioned too as well not the one not, not the two not the three that's that whole little, you know, LeBron James, you know, when he was in Miami type shit. <laughs> so you would go ahead and pick up the phone, call, give them your information with your bank for your um for your LLC. You would run that play. It will go in. What what bureau did I approve from? Go ahead, Rick. Experian. Experian, yep. man. So you will go and make sure your experience is lined up. That, that's up. that's key. We ain't gonna send you on no wild goose chase. Yep. Just told you it's Experian. So who cares what your TransUnion looks your like Equifax or look what like? your Equifax looks like? If you want to be super precautious, you freeze those so they can't see them even if they try to peek. They're going to look at your Experian, so make sure your Experian is primed. And we have videos on what you need to really be primed. But your Experian is primed so you can go run this play. That is the first thing you want to make sure you're doing when you take your new L or old LLC to go ahead and do this with Bank of America. So now we also want to remind you too as well. You want to make sure you do this within the 30 day period of getting that loan. That first when you when you get that first loan, you'll wait till you get that first loan. Then you will go ahead and get the other loan, the second one. And then of course so on and so forth. But you want to make sure you do that within 30 days because or within a timely manner because they might pull a hard inquiry again. Yeah. And you don't want a bunch of hard inquiries. Let's say if you spaced it out over three months, right? You now have four different hard inquiries and that's, on your personal and, experience, and now that's killing. Now that's actually killing your chances of getting other funding too, as well. And kind of defeating the purpose a little bit with what we're helping you to do. Yeah. Now there are ways to get it off the, that inquiry. We'll talk about that <laughs> at later time. We'll talk yeah, about so that there's later. Different, there's ways like that to get it off, like you mentioned. But we want to stick on this topic of getting that four. Once well, you get that four. You may say, dang, I don't need four. Well, you have it, right? Now you can go ahead and actually get vehicles. So so they're getting all four new cars? Or wait, what's... what's new what's, car? Old car? Okay. All right. 
I mean, not old cars. Used, car, used, used cars, used cars, used cars. It's got to be in a um in that in that year frame. Like gotcha. it can't be less than five years old. Yep, yep. Um, yep, five, those, six years old. Yep, five yep, or six yep, years old. Yep. Um, but once you do that, you might say, "Dang, why well, I need two hundred thousand dollars for for vehicles?" Right. Well, here's the thing. You know how much money you can? I mean, how many vehicles you could get with two hundred thousand dollars within that year of time frame? And you may say, "Dang, why I need that? Why would you need that? Don't you want? Don't you want to make passive residual income, right?" There's a girl that actually works that we used to work at. She's Columbia, Colombian. Colombia. She don't speak no English, but she owns. She runs a tour business while her and her working. Mom. Her and her mom. Her and her mom. Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah. 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 While while working, yep. she still got a job working, but also making passive income by not doing anything. Yep. Dropping off the car. Cleaning it up, boom, yep. back on the road again. Yep. And we telling you these things so you can have your mind to expand and be like, damn, I can do a lot. So you would take that one loan, take your personal loan that you have already with the vehicle you already established, because now that would be the private seller. Sorry, yeah. Yep. Because so you can sell yep. your you can sell your business, your vehicle. So listen to uh, what listen this is this is the, this is the gem. Gem number 1. You've now used your business and the Bank of America first commercial auto loan. You didn't go out to a dealership and buy a different nope. car. You went and bought the vehicle from a private seller, a used vehicle which happens to be your personal vehicle. Mm. You've now taken it from the personal side and moved it over to the business side. If most of you pull your credit karma right now and look at your liabilities that you have, your auto loan is probably one of the highest. Now you've literally paid it off, hmm. paid it off. You just didn't hide it. It's going to show as paid off on your personal credit. And it's not going to have no transactional history to go ahead and see where it been paid off in. Nope. All it's going to say it's paid off. Paid it off. doesn't matter if it's from you, your mother, your auntie, your sister, your brother. Or Bank of America. Or Bank of America. Yep. It's paid off. And now that looks good on your personal. So personal your score personal, goes up. So now that's a, also another thing that you can go ahead and get more funding for your personal to get a house, to get more funding for, for, for funding plays, for any type of banks. And then that frees up a lot of things. And now you're like, dang. I just, we also mentioned to you before in our other video, go ahead and check that one out too as well, about how to hide your utilization. Yep. So all you're doing is hiding these things over to your business side because yep. now the business have all the liabilities and it takes the liabilities off of you, right? And it hides that and it's not going to show on your personal mm. Mm. and it will show right on your business. Mm. So I took, I sold Essentially, you sold yourself the vehicle. Yep. And then you paid off the vehicle. Yep. You paid off the vehicle by using their money and you also hiding it. Mm. You didn't even, mm. you, it didn't take no money out of your pocket at all, whatsoever. <laughs> not, not a dime. Not a dime. Now, the three other loans that you have that's freed up can go to any vehicle you want within that year time frame, whatever it may be, and run the Turo play. Now, look. Not a tour expert, I'm not going to say I'm a tour expert, but I know I can do math pretty well. And I know math is mathing for me. $150,000, I can get about four, maybe five vehicles that I can go ahead and run on, on and see what's the best, what's the best seller and what's doing well in the tour game. You can do that research yourself or we have people to contact to as well about that. I hope y'all listening and I hope y'all reading through the lines a little mm -hmm. bit mm -hmm. and starting the, the wheels, the gears and the wheels are starting to turn because the game that you're getting right now from DeAndre is crazy. Like it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> and that's not, we ain't going to also mention about stacking it where talk about the different tier levels because we was in the car business so, and the car industry. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have Adam go ahead and touch on that because... So so I'm, I'm going to take a quick step back and bring us back up. So he just went ahead and walked you through. So if you missed something, you can go ahead and jump right in and start taking notes now. He showed you where to go to get the commercial auto loans and showed you what you need to get it. Then he showed you how to go ahead and take the first of the four total approvals you can get. 
and take your personal card, take your personal car, excuse me, off of there and put it into that first commercial auto loan. Now, not hiding it only, but paying it off. So now your credit score has gone up. You also have went and paid off the auto. Mm -hmm. So your debt to income has gone down. Yes, sir. Now you're even in an even better situation on your personal side. But what I'm going to talk about being that we came from the car business and many people don't understand is that when you go into a car dealership, when you give them your social security number or even your EIN number, if you have a business to run, they rank you in levels of tiers. Yep. You want to get the tier one as fast as possible. This is why a 21 year old or a 19 year old can't get on their a first 30, car $40, can't get a 40, 50, $60,000 car, mm -mm. even if they have great income exactly. and a great personal credit score. Mm -hmm. It's because of their tier. As you show the bank's responsibility at that tier level, they boost you up to the next higher tier level. So let's just hypothetically say you have a $30,000 auto loan right now that you went and listened to DeAndre and the boys from Dreada and you paid it off now. Now you could turn right back around and now get a 50 or $60,000 auto loan personally. You could then go do the same exact thing if you wanted to and scale up to a $80,000, $100,000 car. And now when that one's paid off, that's gonna put you up in tier one, just over $100,000. And here's the crazy part about tier one. Oh, talk to him. Tier do one is tier one. I'm going to take off the glasses for a second so y'all can look into my eyes. Let's start talking about what's available above 110, talk, talk to 120. So when you see them bulls when you're on South Beach or when you're in Atlanta or when you're in Tampa, when you're in New York City <laughs> and they're pulling up in that Yoris, when they're pulling up in that Ghost, when they're pulling up in that, that, Phantom. that, that Phantom, them Bentleys, yep. and you're like, how are they doing it? This is a three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollar car. What they understand is that tier one is tier one. No matter what. Once you're in tier one, up over that like 120 range, now it's an open playing field. Now the bank's gonna say he's at a responsible level to handle this. We're gonna look at the income, we're gonna look at a few things, but now the hardest hurdle is taken care of. Yep. So all y'all that wanna flex and get busy. You have the ability to do that simply by listening to what DeAndre just said. But that's not it, because he told you you can have four different commercial auto loan approvals. We're talking about wiping your personal with one, which means there's at least three other autos, Thanks. cars yep. <laughs> in your possession that you can do something with. And he mentioned Toro. So. Matter of fact, go, go go a little bit more into that. Man, look, so you can go in. So we have people that does that. That's what they do for a living. Okay? So you can go in. Excuse me. You can go and get those vehicles and rent those things out. You can do it personally. You can do it through Turo. You can make a whole different business yeah. and market it however you can make you want. a rental car company. Yep. And guess and, and what? Market it you want. Yep. And that's what we're here for to assist you to jumpstart that. If you don't have time and you don't want it, you just want to go ahead and get it. Boom, boom, boom. That's what we're here for. But that's another topic in itself, too, as well. But now the ball is in your court. Mm. Whatever you want to do with it is whatever you want to do with it. But, but DeAndre, but Adam. <laughs> You just told me I can get a Lambo. But, I just went and Googled how much a Lamborghini car payment is. The car payment is $4,500. But mm -hmm. all you did was get me into a bigger liability. But hold on, time up, bro. How much is those things rented out for? You go take a look. I'm just saying. A thousand a day? A thousand a day. Twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, so sixteen hundred so a you, day? So you telling me you don't want to rent it out for just a week? To pay off imagine, your little forty-five hundred dollars. Imagine that. Imagine that. I'm just saying. Hey, I'm not a. Hey, look. Like I said, this is not financial advice. Hey, hey this is just educational, educational purpose. purposes. Hey, this is all for shit. you. Do with this information what you want to do. What they say it was shits and giggles. Yeah, right? we're just, just hopefully a few light bulbs are going <laughs> off. But this is sky's the limit. Stop limiting your brain to what you can accomplish out here. Everything 
is you can milk it however you want to. You can cut the pie however you want to. It's the same pie. You know what? You know what I hear right now. Yeah. I hear somebody in that small town somewhere in America, like Reading, where I'm from, mm -hmm. saying, "Yeah, that sounds good, fellas. I I, I dig everything y'all saying." But we don't even have a big Toro business here. Mm -hmm. There ain't a lot of people renting cars. Yeah, y'all yeah. in sunny palm trees and swimming on, pools now. and people vacation at okay. Disney and go to the beach. I get it. People need to rent cars on Toro. But don't, don't you got liable friends that actually go? You got good good yeah. friends that go to you. That's in Florida, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. I do, do you got good friends that's in LA? Yeah, I California? do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so my best friend in, in LA. Yeah. Okay, what's so what's stopping you from hitting them up? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you, you heard that right. Come on, so there's man. something that we love to hang our hats on, which is collaboration over competition. Man, that's the poo, I, That's my favorite thing. Everybody can make excuses. Fact. But here's what I can tell you you can't do. You can't produce results and make excuses at the same time. So, yes, we know more than half of you watching this aren't in booming metropolises where Toro business or a rental car business is gonna be successful. But imagine you picking up the phone and calling your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, your best friend, somebody who you go on vacations with or party with. You know they're not gonna shy away from no money. Call them up and say, hey, look, I got access to a few vehicles. I know that you're in an area where Toro or tourist or tourist um tourism is big. I was thinking if I put my autos there with somebody responsible who I like to collaborate with already and break them off a piece of the profits if they would look to manage my fleet for me. Hmm. Collaboration over, over competition. competition. Because there's enough out here for everyone. You've That's why we don't gatekeep. It's, it's no reason for us to gatekeep for any reason at all because there's an information, there's enough out here for every single being on this planet. Yep. Okay, yep. so collaboration, collaboration over competition. Yep, and like our favorite motto, brick by brick, it is all a process. You gotta, like they say, you gotta crawl before you walk, right? You know what I'm saying? You gotta roll over before you can get up, yep. right? So you gotta take these necessary steps, and the first step you can take on is you. Yep, and just getting and investing back into yourself. Yep. yep, the information is already given to you. You can do however you want with it. But the ball is in your court. Are I just, you going to dribble? Yep. Or are you going to shoot it? Or are you going to slam dunk it? What you, what you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do with it? Me, I'm going to pass it to my man, and I'm going to have my man throw me the oop. So now he got the assist, and I got the slam dunk. Come on. And then both of us dap each other up as the crowd go crazy. Exactly. And that's what we hope we're getting you in that mindset. You can achieve a lot more by thinking and working collaboratively. And if you apply everything that we said in this short in this short video, you now learn the way to be able to pay off your existing liability, move it to the business side, scale up to a nicer vehicle if that's what you choose to have. On the personal side, we showed you a way to be able to generate additional income streams from your existing Toro business. Right. How to build that business if you're not in an area that is conducive for Toro well, and once you learn how to do it on a smaller level if you want to use your high-end luxury or exotic car to now be a part of that Toro business you can do that what if you don't like people sitting in your exotic would you be mad at saying okay forget additional income from my Toro business I'm just going to use these three $50,000 cars. I got to hit up on that, man. That are making me $1,200 in profit each a month to pay for your luxury. My luxury exotic Come auto on. car loan. Damn. Now you just got that one particular business for your lifestyle. And that ain't got nothing to do with any other businesses you already have. One hand, wash the other. And the other hand, watch, watch the, the face. face. <laughs> right. bro. Man, that's that's some powerful stuff, man. And people, y'all better be staying tuned to us, man. man. If, if, if that don't get the like, comment, share, subscribe, go to our what, what? Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> run it up for us. Because right. we ain't the only ones that know this. Most of y'all won't realize that until you pay three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 for that person's mentorship and they charge you that. For the same it, game you just got for free from exactly. Dreada.
Come on now. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. Back.